A new play just opened in the bare bones black box theater space. Once again, it's a cutting edge play. It's a Pittsburgh premiere called Here by award winning playwright Taylor Mack. Bare Bones artistic director Patrick Jordan is here to tell us why he chose this play along with two of the actors in here, Tad Cooley and Doug Reese. Good morning. 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 So this is really this is really a interesting play. I watched a clip from mm -hmm. a different city. Oh yeah. Um, and there's so much going on in it. It's I, totally packed with so much it can blow your mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you won't be bored, that's for sure. Definitely. Not. I never am. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so walk us through the storyline for here. Okay. Take it from the start of the play. Okay. Um, uh, Tad's character Isaac is um, an Afghanistan war veteran. Uh, comes home um, and when he left his house, his father kind of ran the house with an iron fist. Mm -hmm. So his father was kind of a little bit of abusive, but also needed the house to be spotless, clean, and immaculate. Um, and he comes home, the house is a mess. There's clothes everywhere. It's like a hoarder's dream. Uh, you can't even get in the front door because things are packed in there. <coughs> he comes home to realize that his father, is, the house is a mess. His father has had a stroke. His mother is now dressing him up in nightgowns and makeup, and his little sister uh, is now transitioning into becoming his little brother, mm. and that's the first five pages. That's the first five pages. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That introduces you. And so, so that's also where the name comes from. Can you tell correct. us about that? So HIR uh, is here. It's a... Um, uh, uh, it's for recognition of our friends in the transgender community. The playwright decided to um, put um, him and her together for here. So it works. Um, uh, the, the Helena Awadi plays the um, the mother character, Paige, uh, 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 Tad's mother in the show, and she has had an awakening of gender in since her husband's had the stroke. There's Helena right there. You can see on screen, mm -hmm. um, and she has taken that into a whole new world. So it's not just the LGBTQ community, it's LGBTQ, P, P, S, P, F, R, F, like, <laughs> with a million different right. pronouns and a million different things. So it's this mind blowing experience for her. And Doug, tell me about your character. Who do you play? Uh, I play the, the patriarch of the family, Arnold, and uh, who, as, as Patrick already said, is ruled things with an iron fist. And that's, that's probably being even a little kind. He was abusive, you know. Right, right. And, uh, and he's sort of getting payback right now because he's had a debilitating stroke and, uh, and he does get dressed up by uh, Helena's character, Paige, and uh, as sort of a form of payback to some extent, but also because she believes in, you know, and in, in what she's doing. And uh, so I, uh, I sort of, I'm there throughout the play. You don't hear from me often, but when you do, it's, 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 it's something. <laughs> uh, so what is the, the ongoing theme throughout the whole thing kind of seems to be liberation, maybe? Correct. Yeah, is that, that it? That's a very part of it. I mean, the play is, I mean, it's sounding kind of serious right now. Right. There's a lot of humor. It's into this, so it's it would be a dark comedy at, at best. Yeah, but it's very very funny, and it's it's about discovering who you are and being who you are, despite forces such as myself, my character, trying to sit on you and not let you be who you are. You know? And Tad, who who do you play? I play Isaac, the person that's thrown into this giant tornado. So just serve your country, coming home. Yeah, and ironically, I feel that well, I, my character left with the purpose of learning how to correct whatever was happening at home. And he was dishonorably discharged for things I can't, probably can't tell the Anyway. <laughs> buy a um, ticket to the show. <laughs> buy a ticket to the yeah. show. <laughs> to find it's out. hysterical, yeah. it's an amazing yeah. cast. It's, um, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, and I think too, probably the space being a little bit smaller probably lends a hand to the scene. Yeah, the black box theater is very intimate. I think we can cram maybe 70 people in there at the thing. So you feel like you're wa you feel like you're watching through a keyhole. Yeah. So it's you're you're part of it. The audience is very much uh, a part of what goes on with yeah. the show. Yeah. And so I, we always love a Pittsburgh connection. Oh, yeah. So you two both have Pittsburgh connections. Can you tell us a little bit of what those oh, are? Oh sure. I was born and raised in Pittsburgh and right. uh, lived here during the 90s. Went to New York for about most of the 80s. Came back for about 12 years, worked here a lot, and have since moved back in 2001, Great. but I love Pittsburgh. Well, we're glad to have you back here I'm in your hometown. What about here. you? Um, I did a show a few years ago, and I was on this show like four years ago around this time. Pittsburgh Day Live. Yeah, oh, yeah, great yeah. to have you back like on the couch. The first time being on the news is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I love it. I love Pittsburgh. It's great to be back. Well, yeah. I'm so glad. And what, what was the play that you were in? Or the it, was, it was Tribes of City Theater. Yeah. Right. 
Very cool. It's awesome. Well, glad to have you back here in Pittsburgh and your homecoming. Thanks glad so much. Yeah, great. Thanks for having Thank us you. on. And, yeah. you know, come, come, check, come, come check out the play. Oh, uh, Liam Ezra Dickinson is also an actor in the show that you saw some pictures of. He's fantastic. Helena Rawadi's like the grand dame of Pittsburgh theater. It's a tour de force role for her, too. So, I, I, yeah. Just watching some of the clips and seeing the pictures, you won't be bored. Oh, yeah. You that won't is be for bored. Sure. This is, this is something different for you to see. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for coming Thank on this morning. Really Thank appreciate so it. And again, Bare Bones Productions presents here now through May 26th at the Black Box Theater in Braddock. Get your tickets now as Bare Bones shows usually sell out. Remember, you can also make it dinner and a show. Superior Motors Restaurant is right next door.